Hey friends, welcome back. This is another weekly dinner video where I show you what our family of four ate for dinner this past week. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy and please consider subscribing to be a part of our family. Also consider heading over to the Instagram page and following us over there. It's another weekly dinner video where I show you what we eat every single night. Sometimes I've got it all together and I make a really good family meal. Other times we eat cereal or sandwiches or what I like to call fend for yourself nights because there's food in the house and we're not gonna starve. Um, we do get every plate meal delivery each week because so many of you have used the referral link down below. Thank you for that. You will get $20 when you give it a try and we also get 20. So it covers three of our dinners each week, which is a lifesaver. My arm's falling asleep. Ever hold up a camera for like too long? I'm also like very washed out and it likes to focus on my refrigerator behind me. Enough of that. Let's see what we ate this week. All right, so it is Sunday night, Memorial Day weekend. It's raining and thunderstorms and I am making a new recipe. It's basically a taco soup and I'm making it in this eight quart Sim pot. So it's like the Instant Pot. My Instant Pot is tiny. Alice is waving. I've got this set up so you can't see us. I don't think they can see you, hold on. If you live in Kentucky today, it's really rainy. Yeah, it's, we got stuck in the rain at Costco, didn't we? Wait, what's today? Sunday the 26th. Today is Sunday the 26th, and it's really stormy out. Yeah, so we're going to have some soup. So while I've got my tripod all over the place, this is the Sim Pot. So I'll leave the link for this down below. This is an 8-quart. My Instant Pot is a 5-quart. So it's nice to have something that's bigger. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try tonight. So we will be making the soup in here. Let me situate you back over here. So you can see. All right, I've got all the ingredients ready. I'm not gonna do like a full recipe video, but I will kind of walk with you through the recipe. Um, it's currently, what time is it? About 5.20. 5.18. 5.18, Jack said. So we're gonna pour just enough chicken broth in the bottom just to cover it. And then we are going to put chicken breasts in. I've got some Tyson frozen chicken breasts. That's the nice thing about the Instant Pot is you can put frozen in there and it cooks super fast. That's probably boring just staring at the inside of my Instant Pot. I do apologize. And I just called it an Instant Pot even though it's a Symphonio. So, chicken. It calls for three chicken breasts. I think I'm going to do more than that and hope that it turns out. My only issue is that we might not have enough liquid, but let's just hope for the best, right? So there's about what? One, two, three, six chicken breasts. But I'm not exactly doubling the recipe, but we're gonna play with it and make sure or hope that, that it doesn't not work. Okay, the rest of this is just like a dump and go. So we're gonna sprinkle a packet of taco seasoning. I just got a packet from, I believe this is from Aldi. Just a mild, original, whatever, taco seasoning. And that didn't tear along the line. I hate when that happens. So let's sprinkle that. Smells good. I mean, I don't think this recipe itself is like anything new or like astonishing. It's just not one that I personally made. Exactly this one. Pour the corn. So I've got a can of corn from Walmart. I drained it already. So there's the corn. The black beans, which was also a can from Walmart, I've already drained or rinsed and drained them. So put those in. Uh, and a can of Rotel, which I, I had it out. Where did it go? So it's not exactly Rotel. It's a can of red gold petite diced with green chilies. Basically the same thing. Um, it does call for a green and red bell pepper. I did two green bell peppers because it's cheaper. So I have those chopped up. We got all sorts of good stuff in here. Um, I have two cups of long grain jasmine rice. I've rinsed it till the water runs clear just to get the starch off it. It says to just sprinkle on top evenly. I'm gonna have to kind of even this out a bit. It looks pretty. And then add the remaining chicken broth. I didn't measure, I just have a 32 ounce can or container from Aldi. It's the Fit and Active. The chicken will also release some liquid because it's frozen. Even if it weren't, it would release some. 
just about right. I might add, I don't have any more chicken broth, but we want to make sure that the rice is cooked. And it does say at the end of the recipe that we will be um, kind of moving the rice around and making sure that everything on top gets, that looks decent. All right. Um, so it just says push the rice down until it's covered, which I can't see because I'm very short. Put this on. This is the first time I'm using this. It's all ready to go. Ooh, that seal's nice and tight. So on top of the eight quart inner pot, you also get this, hold on. Um, this inner one, which is nice for steaming, or I'll use this as my hard boiled egg basket, which is awesome. So I can just pull the whole thing out and like put it into an ice bath. You've got silicone um, like pot holders to pull the pots out if you need it. There is a soup ladle and a rice fluffer, I think is what they called it. You get an extra seal, which is always nice to have on hand. You get a book of recipes um, and then the instruction manual. So you can see how big this is. My five quart, five quart Instant Pot probably comes up to about where this handle is. So quite a bit of difference in size. Um, great for larger families. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's, I like the black. It's very sleek to me. I don't know. I'm enjoying it for, you know, the last 20 minutes that I've been using it. <laughs> Let's see if it cooks my food, though. Oh, he looks happy to be taking garbage out, doesn't he? Why are you cranky pants? Ooh, I heard it do something. No, no I, no, I did not. The valve is still, like, not coming up yet. All right, so as you can see, this little gauge here moves up as it's preheating, then cooking, and now it's in the keep warm position. It did take about an hour to come up to temperature, um, just because it was a pretty full pot. And this is what it's looking at, looking like right now. The recipe says to kind of mix up the rice, put the lid back on, don't turn it on, but let it steam a few more minutes to make sure that like some of this rice up here is done, which it is, so I think we're good. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna chop up the chicken. So I've got this mix and chop from Pampered Chef. You can find similar things on Amazon, but all I'm gonna do is get down to the chicken and it's so tender that this will just shred it with very little effort like it's shredding it's super i don't know if you can see it or not but just making sure i don't have i'm like on my tiptoes because i'm so short and this pot is much bigger than my other one that i'm used to cooking with um you can see like the piece of the chicken here everything's very hot i'm actually going to turn this off because it does not need to keep warm this is actually thick enough that you could probably use it in like burritos or tacos once it cools down and just wrap it in a tortilla. The big piece right there. So I'm just gonna continue mixing it, but that's basically what we're having. I'll show you when I serve it up. So here's how I got the kids served up. Alice will probably pick through and mainly just eat the chicken, which is fine. Um, Jackson should eat most of this. He wanted sour cream on his, and that's probably how Will and I will also have it. The rice is definitely cooked almost, I would say, a little too much. Um, it's iffy with rice. Sometimes it is like underdone, sometimes it's not. But it tastes really good. It's cooling down. The kids are going to eat. Will is asleep right now. Um, he came home after a run after work, and he hurt his knee, and he passed out on the couch. So this is dinner. This was kind of a long one for Sunday night, but I wanted to show you how I made it. And here's mine and Will's. So we're going to sit down. I'm tired. I'm about ready to put the kids to bed. It's been that kind of day. Hi right, friends, it is Monday night and I am making dinner. We're using some of the leftovers from last night and I'm repurposing them into basically like an enchilada or like a oven burrito. So we've got the filling from last night that you saw me make in the Sim Pot. I've got tortillas, we get these from Costco. I probably won't need the second pack but I just pulled out what we had. I'm gonna roll them, put them in this baking dish, top with cheese and salsa so that the tops don't dry out and then that'll be dinner. Also making this mochi cake from Trader Joe's. It's a Hawaiian inspired cake with a chewy mochi texture. I don't know, it sounded good. All you need to do is add water, eggs, and butter. So pretty simple and I'm already gonna have the oven on. So let's get started. All right, I am actually gonna heat the filling for just a few minutes in the microwave to make it a little bit more pliable and then we'll start assembling.
six of them. They're like filled really, really like a lot. Um, and I still have a little bit of leftover mixture. So next I'm going to just top with some more salsa. You could also do enchilada sauce. I just don't have any on hand, so this is what I'm working with. I'm just gonna use the rest of it. Alexa, add salsa to the shopping list. I've added salsa to your shopping list. So I would salsa. Okay. This will just keep them from drying out. I've got a mixture of cheeses. I've got a little bit of this taco um, kind and then mac and cheese casserole. I mean, cheese is cheese, right? The meat mixture itself is already seasoned with ta taco seasoning, so we're just going to sprinkle. I have the oven preheating to 400. Gosh, I'm really tempted to go get eggs tonight, but do I really want to brave the store on Memorial Day? Probably not. People probably aren't there anyway. They're probably like swimming and doing fun stuff while I'm agonizing over the dessert that I now cannot eat tonight. My store was surprisingly busy. Your store was busy? Like, I that last Will said his store was busy when he left there around lunchtime, but that's probably the time people are like refilling on drinks as they're heading out to like cookouts. I would say right now, which is 4.30, probably would be safe. So I might still run out and grab eggs. I don't know. So once the oven preheats, this is ready to go in. You could top this with, I mean, the filling that we used last night, you saw it had corn, black beans, chicken, peppers, um, taco seasoning, and rice. So I mean, it's a pretty, oh, there's a huge piece of chicken in there. I bet, there's like an entire chicken breast right there. So I'm sure Will will eat this for like something. Food. <laughs> So here it is, just out of the oven. The cheese is nice and bubbly, it's sizzling. You can see it's looking real healthy. So I'm gonna let this cool, and I think Alice and I are gonna run to the store and grab eggs to make these mochi bars because it's just the type of person I'm gonna be today. All right, so here's Jackson's. He's got half a burrito kind of chopped up with a mandarin orange cup. Alice has her fruit roll up. Um, Will took one and a half. He took the other half of Jackson's plus a full one, and I've got a full one, and then I'll start dessert afterwards but this is dinner for tonight all right it is i keep losing track of days tuesday right i think making a creamy chicken bake with garlic crouton crust i'm not doing it in a skillet though i'm going to do it in a baking sheet so i've got the chicken here with some olive oil rosemary garlic salt and pepper i've got carrots chopped up there's quite a bit of carrots that came with this one the onion is chopped I've got some garlic butter. I'm about to tear this ciabatta bread in here and like soak it with the butter. And that's kind of where I'm at. It was the kids field day today. It is, I don't know what time it is because that's not my, hold on. It's 4.52. Will is still at work. He's like going on like a 14 hour day. So I'm hoping to have this done by the time he gets home. I'll check back in with you. All right, so it's assembled. I made like a gravy with the onions and carrots, milk, um, butter, and then I just put the soaked ciabatta rolls on top gonna go in the oven for about 10 minutes and finish baking and then it will be ready to eat all right so it's not the prettiest dished up but I just threw some in some bowls we are gonna sit down to eat will is still not home yet but the kids are starving so we're gonna eat without him unfortunately hopefully he will be home soon it is 5 40 all right friends it is Wednesday night we are doing leftovers this will look familiar to you <laughs> um, we are finishing off that chicken burrito stuff so this lasted three meals it made way too much so this is Will's plate he will probably still eat some more of something after this we've got the chicken bake from last night still left in the fridge a ton of produce um, I'll let you see Jackson and I are also having this but I'm heating it up right now and then Alice took her lunch to school today um, and she has leftover lunch so she's eating that you want to tell them what you're eating for your like early dinner um, Canola, banana, peanut butter, and chocolate roll-up. Yeah, so she's got a tortilla, like a peanut butter roll-up with some spinach and ranch and leftover strawberries. So plenty for her to hold her over until, like, we'll probably have another dinner. I don't know. It's like not even 4 o'clock. It's 3.30, but we're all hungry, so that's what, we're, that's what we're doing. I'll show you what else we eat later if we dive back in. So here's Jackson's plate. I gave him some fresh fruit as well topped it with a little sour cream and kind of shredded it up for him so it's easier to eat. So that's what he'll be having. I'm having about half of one. I'm not super hungry right now because I did just have a snack before the kids came home. It's not pretty, but it's edible. It still tastes good. So that's what we're working with. So it is 6.30 and Alice is finally deciding that she's hungry enough to eat something other than her after school snack. So what do we have other than a meltdown because you've been super cranky today. We got some Cheetos. 
look how my tomatoes again. We've got some oranges and what's and a sandwich. Is that good? Is that gonna make you feel better? Or are you still gonna give me grumpy face? Well, she wants macaroni and I don't have macaroni and she doesn't understand why she can't have that. So we're having a hard lesson in you get what you get and you throw just a little bit of a fit. <laughs> There's that smile we love. Go eat your dinner. We already had dinner. Yeah, well this is like second dinner. It's now 6.30. I don't know why I always show you guys that. It's 6.30. Hi right, friends, it is Friday night. We are making the last, well not the last, we actually have another every plate meal that we didn't get to this week and I'm gonna make it and possibly freeze it. Um, but we're making smothered and stuffed meatloaves with potato wedges tonight. Um, it's, I mentioned it's Friday. Today's the last day of school, which is super exciting. Um, so this is just gonna be a nice, yummy, home style, like delicious meal. Thought I'd bring you along with some of the prep because sometimes that's fun to watch. Let me know if you like this or if you would rather just see like the finished plates and like what we eat. But I know some people miss my cooking videos and this is kind of like combining that with the what we eat. So I'm just gonna start prepping. I've got the oven preheating to 425. I'm going to get the potatoes ready. We're having a seasoned, it comes with like a seasoned, what is it? Fry seasoning to put on these. says just sprinkle with some of this. We'll use the rest later apparently. And then salt and pepper. All right, so these are going to go in for 30 minutes. Potatoes are in. Next we are going to prep the peppers. done the same way. Okay, and then the peppers and onions are just gonna be sauteed. This is gonna be like the smothered onion bit, whatever. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna start the chat. I'm gonna get it prepped, but I'm not actually going to turn it on yet because I wanna start the meatloaves next. It wants me to soak these two pieces of bread in a few tablespoons of water. This will be mixed in with the ground beef to make the meatloaves. Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar. Just living my life. And then we're going to add the ground beef. And I've always known what I want. Just didn't know what cake. The rest of the fry seasoning, which there's a little bit in this packet and then a whole nother packet to use. Back in the days I used to dream about one day. A life so amazing. We're going to make, we're going to stuff them with cheese. So it says reserve half of it for the top, but the other half is going to go in the center of these. So bad. I want to stay wide open. Cause if I shut down, it just gives them right. I want to stay got meatloaves. I'm going to hate cleaning this pan, but I don't feel like lining it with foil because then it sticks to the foil and it's just a whole thing. So 
This goes in the oven. It's already preheated for the potatoes, which still have 17 minutes, and this goes in for 20, so that's just about perfect timing. I am going to get these going now with the cheese. So this is going to turn on. I'm gonna saute all this. I'll toss the cheese in with it. This is gonna be like the smothered topping anyway. So it'll just be like a gooey, cheesy mess. Next, we're going to make the like glaze topping, whatnot. Um, it came with two little packs of Dijon mustard. We need some ketchup. What else? And brown sugar. Again. I have nothing more to put on. I'm defeated and withdrawn. Just trying to understand where it went wrong. Always believe. Okay, here's the pepper and onion mixture. Um, I brought it, I sauteed it, made them soft, whatnot, and then I added a few tablespoons of butter, salt, pepper, and then the rest of that cheese. As you can see, it's kind of just a melty mess, and that'll go over top of the meatloaves. So, got a few minutes left on that. Well, that's for the potatoes. Then the meatloaf, I'll check, and it probably needs a few more minutes on top of that. All right, the meatloaves need to be brushed with the ketchup glaze. This is actually kind of spicy, so I'm only putting it on two for now. And two of them split open, and the rest of them are leaking. So, it's whatever gonna be a nice mess of cheesy sloppy goodness I guess so the kids will probably share one I'll put this on three of them it needs to go back in for like another five or six minutes I'll keep that one for the kids because it's easy it's still kind of in one piece I don't know why they didn't split I mean obviously I didn't like fold them and I don't know I, I didn't think you were supposed to like massage them too much all right, friends, if this is not a hearty Friday night dinner, I don't know what is. We've got the seasoned potato fries made in the oven, meatloaf with smothered green peppers and onions. Um, this is going to be, this is something that wasn't every plate. It's a dill pickle salad. I will have a meal prep video on that soon, so stay tuned for that. We're having that along with our dinner. Um, so that's my plate. Will has two meatloaves. Everything else is the same. Jackson has meatloaf, salad, and fries. Alice has meatloaf. Um, salad and tomatoes. So we are gonna eat and that's dinner for Friday. We will see you tomorrow. All right friends, it is Saturday night. This is the last night for this dinner video and we are having super simple but really good like, what is it, like cookout food basically. It's super hot outside. We're not eating outside and we don't have a grill but we are having hot dogs and then we've got coleslaw from Aldi and this tastes very similar to KFC coleslaw. I am impressed. Bob Evans mac and cheese, which is Alice's request. Uh, some dill pickle salad. There will be a meal prep video on that coming up soon. Um, cottage cheese salad, which is like a fruit salad, also going to be in the meal prep video. And I've got some baked beans as well. So I'm gonna prep Jackson and Alice's plate and then I will show you what we got. Okay, so Alice doesn't care for hot dogs, but I still made her pick what she was having out of what was available. She's got mac and cheese, the fruit salad. She also chose an orange cup and um, some grape tomatoes. Jackson has a hot dog with a little bit of mustard and ketchup, mac and cheese, baked beans, and fruit salad. And then I've gotta make mine and Will's plates. Here's Will's plate. He, <laughs> I don't know why that noodle right there just made me laugh. <laughs> um, he's coming back for dessert later, as am I, but we're gonna sit down and eat because we're hungry. And he'll be back for like probably more hot dogs and stuff too, I would guess. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. I already ate like all of your muffins. You ate like maybe four. I ate like... Alice had four, Jack had two, I had two, and there was only like 16 there. I had eight. You ate eight muffins? Why do you maybe put a number <laughs> on it? I was trying to leave it vague. I'm fat, leave it alone. <laughs>